Hello and welcome to another update on Auto Controller. Before I begin, I would like to thank everyone that has been donated to me. I truly appreciate your generosity and this will help me improve my work, which is why I'm making this video. If you wish to donate, there will be a link in the description below. Please don't feel pressured to donate. You can still enjoy the program completely free and if you're watching this video, you're also helping me. Without further ado, let's begin. Version 4.2.1 is mostly bug fixes for Isle of Armor DLC, but there is also one new program I will talk about at the end of the video. First of all, with the DLC update, the game now starts slightly longer than before. This was affecting programs that require restarting the game, including Auto 3 Day Skipper, Auto Fossil, and Auto Host. They now have been fixed. For Auto 3 Day Skipper, it will now skip properly even if the Pokemon is not catchable like Mewtwo or Zeraora. For Battle Tower, there was a button missing in the command. The program still worked before, but now it should be more consistent and maybe slightly faster on navigating menus. For Auto Host, on top of the same changes from Auto 3 Day Skipper, you can now also host Pokemon that cannot be caught. Also thanks to Game Freak's questionable decision, the program now supports 8-digit link codes. The other thing I've changed here is if you set at friends during inviting others in the settings, it will now wait 20 seconds or 80 seconds on the waiting screen depending on the wait time in your settings. And then only add friends for 30 seconds. Then come back 10 seconds before the raid starts. That way the client should have plenty of time to see the link code on your stream and enter it. For Berry Farmer, it has now been fixed for Berry Trees in Isle of Armor because they have slightly longer dialogues. For Egg Hatcher, I've increased the number of small cycles of 5120 Egg Cycles Pokemon since I've got a few reports that saying that cycle ends a bit too early for them. And lastly, for Day Skipper, I've also got a few reports that the program has gone to the sync and unsync time after some time. In the source code commands.h, I've added a fixed delay. Previously, this is 14, now it is 16. Of course, this will make the program run slower, but it should be more consistent now. If you believe in the heart of your switch, you can change this back to 14. The difference is about 400 skips per hour for Japanese. Here's the new program, the Purple Beam Finder. The program was originally created by Plips, then I made a slight modification on it, so credit goes to him. To use the program, as usual you have to set the text speed to fast, not slow even for this program. You must have at least one wishing piece in your inventory, then ride on a bike and go to an empty den. Make sure you have collected the wads and saved the game. Now compile the program, disconnect the current controller and plug the board in. The program will start by ringing the bike bell just like all 3-day skipper. You must monitor the game here. If you see red streaks, that means it is a red beam. Just leave the board and it will restart the game for you. If you don't see any red streaks, that means you got a purple beam. Now unplug the board before the game closes. You should have about 7 seconds to do so. And that's about it for this update. I said before the chromomatic can be automated, but I don't think it's a good idea since it is impossible to know where your inventory is sorted and you need a specific order to get good items or the items you want, so it is way better to do it manually. I also know about the digging ma in Isle of Armor can grind armor ore, but I'm pretty sure even though there are fixed locations she will be in, every time you finish talking to her she will be in a random location rather than a fixed sequence of location, so it will be impossible to find her automatically. On top of that, it's very easy to run into wild Pokemon when going through the wild area trying to find her. The better option will be still doing a lot of raids. And that's it for today's update. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question or suggestion about possible program to be made, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for future updates. I'll see you next time. Peace.